I think I did a video on this a while back. I have the battery, uh, the battery operated ring doorbell. So I have two locations and one of the locations was in the northern part of Pennsylvania. I have the one with the battery, the ring doorbell with the battery. So what's what's been happening is that every year or so, I've owned that, I'm gonna say three to four years now, the one with the battery. I think it's the first version, which is a great, you know, it works really well. Uh, the problem I'm having with it is that the battery keeps going out. I think the weather really, it gets really cold up here. I mean, we get, you know, we can get zero to minus 10 degrees for weeks at a time. And I think the battery, because it's outside, can't support that coldness. It just keeps dying. So every year and year to year and a half, I have to get a new battery because the battery doesn't get any more charge. I do have it hardwired, as I'll show you, but it's not. I kept buying batteries for $30, and I thought to myself, why am I buying batteries? I have to switch it out. I'll just sell the old ring doorbell with the battery and... I'll install this one in place of that one so that since this doesn't take batteries, I have it hardwired already. This will be a much better choice and the weather shouldn't be a factor to keeping this powered. So this is it right here. This is the packaging. I bought it used. I'll have the price below. open it up okay. hopefully it has everything it's supposed to come with sorry opened it up the other way it looks great great condition Is all the paperwork leveler I must have forgotten that it had that okay and uh, paperwork nothing here. and I'll probably pick nah, I don't know I'll let my wife make the pick on the outside and uh, these are the covers And the doorbell is a lot smaller, I believe, than the one I have upstairs. I guess we'll compare it when I put them next to each other. But I believe this one is a lot smaller. So I'll be screwing it into my hard wiring. I actually have a plug that I plug it in with, a power supply plug that I uh, purchased on eBay. I did a video on that. I didn't notice that I have one I have the pro I believe at another location I did a video I don't remember it having it looks like it's a power plug I guess I'll read the uh, information this might be an updated version it looks like it's a plug just to plug in which is a great idea too to have so instead of having to hardwire uh, nothing else in the box and this is everything that comes inside of it So let's install everything and um, hopefully it'll outlast the battery operated one. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't notice the stuff underneath. I guess this is all new. Cause I don't believe this came with my iPad. Look, it's been a while since I did a video on this specific one. I did it in, in my apartment. And uh, I, don't, I don't remember these things coming with it, but I, I could be wrong. So as I'm really opening it up and getting everything out, this is actually what comes inside. Just wanna make sure you see everything. Wedge mounts optional. So that's these things here. And uh, I'm, 
and the installation tools. I'll have this all at the end. And these are the all the mounting hardware. I don't think I'm gonna need most of this stuff. Uh, what is this? Secure. Oh, I gotta figure out what all this stuff is. I don't remember all this this power connection and everything. I had a power supply and that was it. I could be wrong. Please excuse me if I'm wrong. I'm a regular guy. Uh, I'm not a professional at all. I'm just doing a review or a look at and in my installation of the item. I'm not an expert at all. Uh, and I'm just opening it up just like anybody else would and um, just so that any other normal person who's opening this up for the first time I'm just showing you what you would probably experience which is again I'm a regular guy so let me look everything over and I'll let you know what everything is for I want to see that power kit and figure out what that is for and um, we'll start the installation so let me review the uh, instructions and I'll come back to you and we'll do the installation so this is the original ring doorbell let me see what tools I need like I said it has the battery and it is um, a lot smaller the pro compared to the when I take it out but you could kind of see it's a lot shorter than the old one and a lot less thicker too so let me uh, see now I was reading as to what this is this is basically a uh, sort of I used to do phones and we used to install we used to need elect electrical current for the light that's above the phone booth this is when phone booths were something back in the day so we used to, uh, I used to work for a private pay phone company and we used to install phones curbside. And we used to need electrical current going to the light and to the coin hopper. That's what, and to the motherboard, which let the computer system know when a quarter was due or nickel for additional time. So we used to put what's, what, a transformer and the transformer, it regulated the current that went in and out. So it kept the current the same into the phone so that way you won't get over voltage or low voltage so you know you won't get spikes or brownout this is what that's for and I don't need it because the actual power supply that I have which I purchased on eBay I did a video on does the job very well and it's actually physically plugged in and that's it right there I've done a video on that you can look it up uh, it's a very old video so I just need to unplug it to get rid of the power to make sure that no power is going there's no power on the actual line itself which is that white cable there so pretty much the idea with the one with the battery as you can see it's dead again it should be on because there's a battery in there but the battery is just dead so the power supply the way it works with this ring doorbell with the power supply is that it, it continuously recharges this to leave it at 100%. It's a continuous charge. The ring does not run off this current. It runs off the battery power. So this charges this, and then this powers the ring. But these have gone bad. I don't know if it has to do with the electrical current, or it has to do with um, the constant charging, or it has to do with... Uh, the weather, it might be the weather, I think, because it gets really, really cold and the batteries don't do very well in really cold weather. So I'm replacing it. I can't get a charge at, on this at all. It's no power at all, it's just dead. And I'm replacing it with the Ring Doorbell Pro, which only takes power, and I don't have that issue. So let's start the installation. I'll, um, I may mute it and just put some music in the background or not. Let me see. So my wife decided on the beige one. We're going to put that on there. 
So let's remove this to install this. Hopefully it's an easy process. Again, I unplugged the power supply. Uh, and I think it's just two screws. This is an adapter I bought to angle the ring towards the doorway so it gets a better view instead of a straightaway. I can see when the door is opening and closing. So I'm leaving that there. Like I said, it works really, really well. It's just the battery's causing me issues at this location. So I really, you know, it's about three or four years old. Uh, it's one of the first rings. That may also be a reason. So it's four screws. I used only the screwdriver that came with the kit. Is. So I'm going to keep it the same for the install. So the gray will be on the right and the blue will be on the left. And again, it's unplugged. Gray on the right. That's it right here. Looks nice. I think I already did a close up on this, so I'll leave all this on there. Uh, it's telling me to peel that off, so let me peel that off. No, I gotta peel them off, okay. So that power adapter I have does exactly that. No issues whatsoever. Because I have the same one in another location with the Pro and I just have the power adapter. And it works flawlessly, flawlessly. And that was, uh... And if I do a comparison visual real quick. You'll see is a less bulkier, less fatter. This might actually even fit like the battery. <laughs> it's a much smaller device. As you can see, much, much smaller. Yeah, much smaller. I'd say about maybe 30% smaller, but so like I got straight A's in math, so uh, whatever you think. And put this. So I have to take. I think I have to take out the silver one. Or does it go over? Yep. Okay. I have to take the silver one out. Okay. Didn't realize that. It looks like this face plate. I mean, this um, angle plate. It's not gonna fit. So I got to take it out. This is too big for the uh, Pro. Way too big, there's no way to hook it up. So I'm gonna have to use the ones that came with it. So let me remove this. So there's different options to mounting these screws. I mean, this uh, ring doorbell. So I need the really long screws. Since this is wood, I don't need any anchors, any kind of bolts or anything to hold it. This should be plenty. So this is gonna be my setup. I'm putting the, this really long one. 
through the ring doorbell. Remember, you you have to mount it without the cover first. I'm not taking out the film yet. And I'm going to screw that in. And this is going to be my... Uh, using my electric drill. Get as far as I could, right there. Okay. And I'm, I'm not think this is my setup. So the other mount angles it angles it downward. It gives it a downward look. I need a right to left look. That's my main purpose. So, and I also need it out because I don't want it too far in here. This is a lot thinner than my old one. So I need it to come out further. So I need it as far, you know, I'd like to have it like this, but I'm gonna put it in there and that should bring it out enough so I can see the door. That's my biggest thing is to see the door open and close. I may or may not get that and we'll see. So I'm putting it in. And I'm not using the level of the sandy, I'm just guiding it with this, uh, wood notch or uh, it's part of the wall. Uh, so I'm pre-drilling pre the holes. Then I gotta wire it up first. So let me get that out of there. So I pre-drilled this and this. So let me get the wiring done, which will go here. So again, the gray, it's unplugged, so no issues. The gray will go to, let me put that in there. The gray will go to the right, and the black will go to the left. That's my setup. Your setup may be totally different, so be guided by your electrical setup. So let me put this on right here. I had no idea what this bottom thing was for, but it turns out that it's so that you can screw the plate in place. So nobody, I guess, so nobody can steal the plate and nobody can access the screws. So it kind of like does a protection of the actual ring doorbell so people don't walk away with it. But it is plastic and if anybody wants it, they are gonna take it. But it kind of reduces or makes it harder to do that. And you put a screw through there to secure the plate in place. And it's a special screw so that nobody can access it. I'll put it in, I'll show you the screw. I wasn't gonna do it, but eh, you know, why not? Not perfect but fine it'll fit my needs so now let me find a small screw 
to keep the faceplate in place. And I think it's going to be this little screw here, which is in, okay, it's in this bag. This has two. I only see one. Might be one in there. Oh, there's the other one right there. So I'll keep them on the side. And uh, this will go under here, this small screw. And that's should be this side. So it'll be a special type. Unless the person is walking around with one of these screwdrivers or this type of, uh, I think they're called torque screws. Then I'm going to be able to do it with a standard flathead or Phillips screw. Put it in. Oh, let me take out the film first. Oh, it's already out. <laughs> I took it out earlier. All right. I didn't have one. I thought it had a film. No film in there. Uh, like I told you it's used, so or sold as used. Could have been just opened up. Okay. Just screw it underneath there and that's how you secure it. That's it. And now let's plug it in and see what happens. So I'm gonna plug go over there, plug it in, and let's watch all the bells and whistles. on as you can see let me do the setup welcome to ring the world's most advanced doorbell follow the instructions in the ring app to continue let's do that so let me start my ring app i'm not going to do a screen capture i'll just uh show you on my screen what i'm getting okay i should have scanned a qr code let me take out i think it's on the side here so i'm take out the base before setting it up so remember to do that so you're not stuck with that. Hold on one moment. See, it's telling me how to do it. You know, let me set it up without it. Oh, you know what? It's on the box. Let me find the box. I got the box. I'm going to scan it. Of course, I don't want to show you the barcode. Sorry. Let me scan it. Okay, I did the scan. Let me do front door. I got it connected to my Wi-Fi. Okay, it's telling me to turn off power, but I already connected everything and installed. So I'm going to put, I've already, uh, I've already installed it. Okay. So it's asking me about my existing doorbell. I don't have one, so I'm going to put none. And it's connecting the device. asking me if it's spinning and it is as you can see for yourself and I'm gonna press yes it's asking me to join the ring Wi-Fi network uh, right there I'm gonna put join ring up. it's asking me to choose a network that you want to connect to the, the Wi-Fi network so I'm going my Wi-Fi and putting in the password ring doorbell is connecting to the internet just a moment no one wasn't built in a day So it's connecting my doorbell to my home network. It's showing the same spinning circular thing. Your ring doorbell is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. Awesome. Let's 
telling me about the features and everything. I already got it. So it says, congratulations, setup is complete. And now I can do that, which I did already. Okay, continue. So it's telling me if I want to give people access, I don't. So I'm gonna skip that step as a video. So I set up ring device linking and what it does is that it once it sees motion here my cameras my ring cameras that are inside all start recording I have probably about four or five of them recording at the same time so it's pretty cool that's what device linking does is that as soon as this sees activity it makes the other one see activity and it starts um, recording so I'm gonna add a ring I'm gonna add it and uh, I'm gonna put it on So I set it up on all my cameras. So as soon as this sees action, all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cameras that I have, I'm gonna start recording. And do continue. And that's what, how device linking is set up. And that's it. It's set up, it records. Uh, I don't need to chat with an agent. It's asking me chatting with an agent. I'll do the setup later. I just wanna make sure it's working. my ring doorbell is seeing it's awesome so you see it's at an angle and I can kind of see the doorway entrance which is to the left the doorway entrance is right there the, the wedge of the door so that way I can see the door open and close so it's great I think it's excellent I love the ring stuff I love the prices that they charge for the yearly I think what is it 30 days of recording for uh, a hundred dollars a year or 129 I, I think their service is excellent uh, it's affordable their items are affordable and not expensive and they work really well I like them a lot I have numerous ring devices and I love them again I'm no expert I don't know I consider myself a really really amateur to this and if I could set it up anybody can set it up it's real simple to set up I'm an amateur to this I just like lots of gadgets but it was real simple to set up as you saw and it, again if I could do it you definitely could do it I love the ring uh, the ring app the uh, it's very easy to use the app it has a lot of options I like that linking part where once this is triggered all the other ones start recording this thing is awesome I have no no regrets whatsoever with these things I own I think 15 ring cameras and doorbells and everything so they work really well because I have I have them installed in more than one location so they work really really well so I hope you like the video I hope it helps thank you bye ring video doorbell pro upgrade from first version bh pound sign 2 million 100,850 mfr pound sign 88 lp 000 ch 000 cost 109 dollars and nine cents used bnh https slash slash www.portavideo.com slash c slash product slash 80210850 dash use slash video door bell pro on the box ring video doorbell pro screwdriver 4x interchangeable face up plates optional wiring and connectors drill bit pro power kit installation screws and anchors one year B&H warranty ring video doorbell pro specs camera Resolution and frame rate 1920x1080 field of view 160 uh. Night vision yes general. Encryption yes. Communications Wi-Fi Wi-Fi 4 802.11 and. Dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Intercom yes. Power. Power type requirement hardwired power requirement 16 to 24 VAC. 30 V8 transformer environmental. Operating temperature 5 to 120 F minus 21 to 49 physical. 
Dimensions 4.5 x 1.9 x 0 0.8, 114.3 x 47 x 20.3 mm Packaging Info Package weight 1.65 pounds box dimensions LXWXH 8.425 x 8.031 x 6.772 Manual For additional help, visit ring.com help or give us a call. US 1-800-656-1918 Canada 1-855-300-7289 Worldwide plus 1-310-929-7085 For a list of all our customer support numbers, visit ring.com callus. Hereby, Ring Incorporated declares that this consumer electronic is in compliance with the essential requirements and other relevant provisions of Directive 1999-5-IC. The Declaration of Conformity may be consulted at www.ring.com slash duck.pdf. Protect the device from direct sunlight. Install the device at dry locations and protect it against rain and humidity. The device may not get contact to salt water or other conductive liquids. The device must be charged only within a building in a dry state. Caution, risk of explosion if battery is replaced by an incorrect type. Dispose of used batteries according to the instructions. To review your warranty coverage, please visit www.ring.com warranty. Patents www.ring.com patents 2019 ring llc rose affiliates ring always home and all related logos are trademarks of ring llc rose affiliates last updated february 19 2019 key features camera and doorbell to monitor front door 1920x 1080 video resolution rls for night vision 160 a field of view Two-way audio and noise cancellation comes with 30 days of cloud storage motion detection with programmable zones minus 5 to 120 if operating temp. Includes four interchangeable face lights requires existing hardwired doorbell show less. When you attach the Ring Video Doorbell Pro from Ring to your existing hardwired doorbell, you are able to monitor your front door area using your mobile device. The Ring Doorbell Pro features 1920x1080 resolution for high-quality images, and it has built-in IR LEDs for use at night or in low-light conditions. The camera has a 160 a field of view Ring Video Doorbell Pro overview. When you attach the Ring Video Doorbell Pro from Ring to your existing hardwired doorbell, you are able to monitor your front door area using your mobile device. The Ring Doorbell Pro features 1920x1080 resolution for high-quality images, and it has built-in IR LEDs for use at night or in low-light conditions. The camera has a 160 a field of view for a wide coverage area, and integrated two-way audio allows you to listen and respond to those you are monitoring. The doorbell can be used in temperatures as low as minus 5 if and as high as 120 if enabling operation in a wide variety of environments. Additionally, the package comes with four different colored face plates, black, charcoal, silver, and white, so that you can match the doorbell to your home's exterior or your existing hardware. Motion detection with programmable zones will send an alert to your smartphone or tablet when movement is detected in one of the motion zones and bank-grade encryption offers safe transfer of data from the doorbell to your mobile device. The Ring Doorbell Pro comes with 30 days of cloud recordings. However, if you would like to record footage after this, you will need to purchase a monthly or yearly cloud subscription. With the subscription, you will be able to view and download up to 6 months of recordings, and you will also be able to share recordings with friends, neighbors, and law enforcement. Additionally, you can permanently save files that are important to you and delete any unwanted files. The package also includes mounting hardware and a power kit. 1080p resolution provides clear, 
High quality video 160 a field of view for a wide coverage area integrated to our LEDs provide night vision for use at all times. Two way audio with noise cancellation allows you to speak and listen to those you are monitoring. Motion detection with programmable motion zones minus 5 to 120 if operating temperature for performance in extreme climates. Bank grade encryption enables a secure transmission of data includes four interchangeable face up lights for matching your existing hardware comes with 30 days of cloud recording. Subscription required for further use of cloud storage.